uh, obviously do this quick analysis for you to help you break this down a little bit more. Um, you can see we had a huge push to the upside uh, and now obviously from that push we're going to need some sort of relief to come back down. Um, obviously we're trading in a bearish channel at the moment. You can see here we've got one, two, three. We're looking at a fourth touch here, fourth wave for another fifth wave down, which should tie up with this support level here. Um, again, you can see we had three moves to the upside, one, two, three. Now we expect an A, B, C down. So A, B, and then the C move down. So A, B, C. Um, if we go to a lower time frame, I know you were talking about um, how would you get in. Okay. So obviously we, we had a head and shoulders formation here, which is obviously a reversal signal. Um, so that's at the top there. You've got your left shoulder, your head, your right shoulder, break of the neckline. We've got the first drop consolidation. We had this drop here, and obviously now we're expecting you can see that this drop actually ties up with this support level. Um, marries up with that support level. So from here, we drop down to support, back up to support now resistance, um, as you can see here. Okay, was support now it's resistance. Currently on the one hour time frame, we're possibly looking at forming a bearish uh, shooting star candle here. Uh, inverted hammer at resistance level here. Uh, what we need to do is we need to see a few more bearish candles before we can enter a uh, short trade um, and that would give us confirmation that this resistance level is held. If we break out, we break above it and we form a little flag. Um, so if we break to the upside and then we form a flag here, then we look to go long. But as long as we stay consolidated in this area here, we look to go to the downside. Hope that helps, bro. Catch you soon.